Four UTEP art students, all with a background in the military, sharing their work and experiences through creativity. The four will be showcased in a warrior art collective at UTEP. Here's a little bit more about them. From chaos to clarity, four artists with military backgrounds creating art as a release, a therapy, a way to express what they've been through. I've been uh, exposed to a lot of experiences uh, that most haven't, so I've seen a different part of life that most haven't. Brian Holt, serving his country for a decade. His latest sculpture, Lone Wolf, representing being back in civilian life without his comrades. It has dog tags inside of it. Uh, those represent uh, all the military members uh, that I had deployed with. The piece kind of represents for me, you know, getting out of the service and not having that uh, co cohesion anymore. I was very, very edgy when I first was out of the military. And it helped me, like, calm down a lot. Victor Casas now out for many years. His art evolving and healing. Many of his paintings depicting life in the service. Before it was, my paintings were, like, super dark. You know, like when I first got out, everything was really dark, very dull. It, it's just been kind of a ride. It's now out of you in the world, and you're sharing it. Melinda Blackwelder, in for 17 years, using painting as a way of therapy. It's very important to me. It's it's therapy for me. It's therapy for my my kids and. By making myself better, I'm a better person for my kids and, and for everybody around me. The wheel, this right here, demands all my concentration. It demands all my focus. So I have that found I kind of can like a little niche because it's very therapeutic. Mike Bomback, passionate about clay. The former Marine using pottery as a way to cope after hard times and difficulty adjusting to normal life. Very passionate about it's something that uh, Oh no, you know, I look like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm playing the mud. But uh, I actually get to tell my mom, you know, actually, I like playing in the mud. <laughs> Military service bonds these four warriors, but art has brought them even closer together. The artist's exhibit, uh, exhibition from Chaos to Clarity will have its opening reception at the Glass Gallery in the Fox Fine Arts Center on Monday at 5 p.m. The exhibit runs until October 25th.